Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this GIMP tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can take text and uh, basically convert it into a text arc or another shape inside of GIMP. And the way we get this started is by using the pen tool in order to select a few points to basically draw the path in which the text is going to appear on. But because I want it to be symmetrical on both sides, what I'm going to do is start by going to Image, Guides, New Guides, and sometimes the box pops up behind, so be careful about that. And then I'm going to uh, put a guide at about 35%. So we can see this guide drawing across, and that gives us a good reference to use when we're selecting points. So here I'm going to select the start point of our curve, the end point of our curve. And by holding down shift, I'm going to make sure that as I drag this up, it's going to make a symmetrical path. Now I should try to get closer to the middle if I want it to look even on both sides. Okay, and that's going to approximately do it. Maybe we make it a little bit more subtle than that. Okay, so now that we have our curve drawn, and it doesn't need to show on screen, it just needs to be there, and you can always check your paths by going to Dockable Layers and Paths to confirm that the path is actually there. I go back into the text layer, and with this text selected, or just the box selected, you can right click it and hit text along path. Now what that's going to do is it's going to take this text and draw as accurately as possible um, along the path that we created. So if I show the path, you can see that this text outline now matches the curve that I drew. Um, now in some cases, like this one, you may get some distortion of your text. Uh, and that can be probably because uh, the, the line is just curving too far up. So you may have to play around with it. You can also have multiple path points. It doesn't need to just be two. It could be four. However you want to do it, uh, it's just a pin tool to draw the initial path. But this is just an outline right here. It's actually a, a path itself. So what do we need to do to take this and make it a real layer? Well, uh, we can basically delete the original text if we want, but I'm just going to disable that for right now. Maybe add a new layer in, and this layer is going to be the text path layer, for lack of a more creative name. And in order to fill this, we can select the fill bucket, make sure that we have that path selected, go up to select, choose from path, and now it's selecting all the space inside of these uh, outlines. So the last thing we need to do is click with our color of choice inside of the text. And it's going to apply to every area of that space. So now we can deselect everything, hide the path. And there we go. We have curved text inside of GIMP. So pretty cool tutorial for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my future content.